Let me try and give you an overview using this drawing. This is, to those of you who are not into writing UML diagrams and talking drawings, try and learn how to because this makes a lot of power when you're in a team and you need to discuss changes in the solution. So look at this, we have a customer service right here and that customer service right now is calling the data access layer facade that knows about an iCustomer repository. That's going to change now. We're going to say the customer service knows about the data access layer facade like before, but it knows about the iUndaf work interface instead. So this guy is going to know about this guy instead of knowing about the iCustomer repository. And then the UNDAF work is going to know about the iCustomer repository. That's what we just built. So we're going to have a call that goes like this, data access facade, UNDAF work, customer repository, do stuff in database. That's the kind of the direction we're going to go in. So now we know that. Let's try and implement it. Starting by going into the data access layer facade, and let's just keep the old property in here for now. And then we're going to make a new uh, property in here that's going to be called I unit of work like this. That's kind of the interface that we want to that we want to use. And that's just going to call, let's just call it unit of work this time. We can, we can change this later on because the implementation is down here. So I can put in any unit of work later if I want to, just like we could with the in-memory repository, right? Now here I'm not going to do this. Unit test wise, that would make sense later, but it would mean exposing the in-memory context. I don't want to do that. So here we're going to make a new unit of work mem, unit of work mem like this, and that's going to be um, using the keyword U O W like that. Let's just get that out of the way. And by the way, I'll keep it up here so you guys can see it. So now we have the unit of work ready to use, and it's exposed to the interface uh, through the interface, through the doll facade to the next level. So we've kind of done this now that we've changed this from talking to the I customer repository to actually talking to the I unit of work. And then the unit of work knows about the customer repository. So we kind of just switch that around. Next lesson, we're trying to use it inside the customer service and just do the final cleanup of the doll facades. See you next time.